Good morning, Leos. Hello, everybody. I have Dreamscape Tarot for the main deck. I have Tarot the Abyss for the clarifying deck. And the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. I'm looking bottom of the deck coming in as you, King of Wands. And bottom of the deck coming in over here, the Emperor, which is Aries. Aries is also the Queen of Wands. I get Emperor can have anyone. But somehow this emperor's eyes are on this king of wands is what I'm feeling. Emperor can like control too. So let's see what you're dealing with. Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Leo, if you are a Leo, know a Leo, feel like being a Leo. Leos, I'm glad you're here. You could be a Leo and this resonates. You could be dealing with a Leo. It could resonate as the main story and Leo can be the cross watcher. This reading could be about a Leo or for a Leo. Take it as it resonates. Collect a message for my lovely lions, sun, moon, rise, and Venus. What is the story for Leo they need to be aware of? What is the energy coming their way? What is the energy coming their way? Okay, that's a book. Let's see. Hierophant reverse. Hanged woman reverse. Leaving something. Seven of swords getting out of something. And a page of pentacles reverse. Holy cow. Queen of wands reverse and the ace of cups reverse behind that is the lovers let's just this i feel like and all the fire signs there it's definitely there's been this love element going on there's also been for some of you this might be for some leos out there not all that has been a little bit of a secret lovers because you got the queen of wands reverse on top of this lovers ace of cups reverse and then the six of wands like if somebody was with somebody and they haven't been intimate with them for a very long time and they feel like two people meet and it's like fireworks. All right. Hierophant reverse, hanged woman reverse, page of pentacles reverse, seven of swords. What's influencing that? I feel it's love, honestly. I do. What's influencing that? Temperance reverse, Sagittarius. I feel like something wasn't right for a long time. What's the reason for the reading? The strength reverse Leo energy. What's in the past? What's in the past? The Ace of Swords walking away. Ace of Swords is truth and clarity. Head held high. Isn't that a badass Ace of Swords? I love that card. What's on your mind? What's on Leo's mind? What's on Leo's mind? The King of Wands reverse. Give me one more card. What's on Leo's mind? The Two of Swords. Needing to make a decision. I, Leo, you might be in something. And Strength Reverse is letting it go. There's definitely somebody letting something go here. And it hasn't been right for a long time. It's like two people been trying to put these puzzle pieces to make them fit and they just don't fit. And you're tired of trying to make something fit that's not ever gonna fit, you know? Why do I feel like there's some a, a, a catalyst for this though? Near future for Leo? What's in the near future for Leo? I just feel like something hasn't been, hasn't fit for a long time. It hasn't worked. And it's just finally making a decision to call it. Okay, we got eight of swords. We got eight of swords here. What's in the near future for Leo? It's, it's tough. This is tough energy because I feel like you communicated. I feel like I might be speaking to somebody who has been in a relationship for a very long time and that you communicated that you're going to leave, but you may not have left and you may have tried it again because on your mind is I'm really not happy. I should have left when I said I was going to leave. And it's trying to make a decision with this two of swords, trying to do what's right for everyone involved most importantly you but the reason for the reading is you can't do this anymore you can't keep holding yourself back see the egg represents new beginnings and it's just kind of like it's just squeezed i think i feel like you've been squeezed for some time but that's this is a gemini card eight of swords here we are in gemini season for a little bit here what's in the near future for leo what is in the near future for leo 
these flipped. So, yeah, you're, you're, I, I do feel judgment, by the way, three of pentacles. I do feel like there could have been a third party element in this, but I, it's just not the precedence of the reading. I do, six of swords is moving on to a better place and a page of wands is beginning something that's got a smile on your face. It's maybe this is still coming in, but the brunt of the reading is, is getting out of something that hasn't been good for a long time. And honestly, maybe this is love, but this is work, you know? And it's been knowing that you've been needing to find a, a job for a while because you just can't hang in there anymore. I can't keep doing it. And Seven of Swords is successfully getting away from something that is just very repetitive at this point. And you do, you do. Okay, let's see. What's this higher fit reverse? Center of the reading. What's this higher fit reverse? And look at that, boredom, four cups. Just bored. I get so bored. What's this higher fit reverse? Center of the reading. Hierophant reverse, center of the reading. Yep. I'm not surprised. The world reverse. It's over and over and over. And I feel like you might say, okay, I'm going. And, and I f see there's a page of pentacles reverse here. And it just feels like somebody then dangles a carrot to try to keep you. I'm going to change. Let's go to therapy. Uh, you'll get that raise. It's just not enough for you anymore. Page of pentacles reverse is a no thank you card. I think I'm done. You know, so... What is the temperance reverse influencing Sagittarius? What is this temperance reverse? And the three, I love this. Three of swords is not painful. It's just knowing. It's, it's a lesson learned. It's an understanding of what needs to be done now. Those swords are not piercing the man or the guy, but it's piercing the book. It's reading and understanding the letters are floating around him. So it's kind of like, and I do feel there's truth back here. And some of you, the truth did set you free because you opened your eyes to who you're with. And oh, look at that, the emperor and the devil. I feel like this is somebody who likes control. Ace of Swords reverse below that and Five of Pentacles reverse. I'm like, they. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who doesn't want to listen. They're just not accepting you're leaving them. They just don't want to accept you're leaving them. Strength reverse, reason for the reading. The Knight of Cups reverse. Again, if this is a relationship, and honestly, Leo... I really feel like this might be a Leo that is just saying, you know, we fell out of love a long time ago and we're just here be for the point of being here. I do feel like they're going to try to keep you, but it's not just not enough anymore. And there's not enough reason to stay, especially when you got a six of swords and a page of wands over here. And if this isn't somebody, you know, have in mind, it's the hope of having this, you know? Because you've been without hope in this relationship for a while. You've been running on empty for a while. Ace of Swords in the past. Ace of Swords in the past for Leo. And the Awakening Reverse. That's what I'm feeling. This is the Judgment Reverse. Judgment Reverse is saying, hey, Tara Lady, I get what you're saying, but it takes money to leave. Or I have kids. Or it's my job. I've been here 25 years. I need insurance. There are real reasons why I just can't walk out the door because life isn't just tarot. It's real. There's real repercussions to things. So the awakening reverse is saying, I get it, but I just can't do anything about it. So that's where the ace of swords, I do feel like somebody conveyed how they feel, but not necessarily walked away yet. But so it, it's just been coming for a long time. Two of Swords and the King of Wands reverse on your mind. It's just a lack of passion. Two of Swords and the King of Wands reverse on your mind. Yep, and the Knight of Wands reverse. I felt that here and here. Sagittarius and Temperance reverse. Strength reverse. Knight of Cups reverse. It's like if I wanted to live a life without sex, I would have been a priest or a nun, you know? Seriously, that's just what it feels like. And you're just done you just can't be like this anymore yeah there's a lot of reversals i know people have a hard time with that but you know what people have a hard time with problems as well and this is highlighting a major problem in somebody's life and it's saying it's time to really look at this because the life you want to live is up here six of swords is of the mind making a, your mind up to have a different type of life 
however you can get it, which means walking away from this. All right, so we have the Eight of Swords in the near future. Again, the Eight of Swords in the Judgment Reverse is almost the minor and major of each other. It's saying, I get it, but I can't do anything about it. I'm trapped. She's not trapped on the card. She's, she's telling herself she's trapped, but she's blindfolded. Two of Swords is blindfolded. You put these together and you got a Ten of Swords. That is hallelujah. Ten of Swords is like, I'm tired of this shit. I'm gone. So we do have a Ten of Swords in two different cards. So it, it feels like somebody's getting closer to this epiphany. What's this Eight of Swords in the near future? Three, yeah, I love Tarot of the Abyss for this reason only. Somebody's trying to hold you back. Three of Pentacles. This rope, let the rope go for crying out loud. The rope is frayed and breaking and it's harder to hold on to this at this point. Somebody's trying to hold you back, hold you there. And it's that emperor devil energy. It's just, it's, it's you're, some Leo out there is dealing with somebody who likes control and you're not allowing, you can't allow that to be the reason to stay in something this unhappy anymore. Page of Wands and the Six of Swords as well in the near future. Six of Swords and the Page of Wands, I'm telling you, that's a two of cups you're going towards. It's love, it's understanding, it's commitment, it's give and take, unconditional love even. Six of Swords and the Page of Wands, what Leo's going towards, and the Hanged One, Pisces energy. It's still in this seeing something for what it is, and that is the beginning of really doing something about it. What's this uh, Hanged, it's the Hanged Man. And I love this Eight of Swords reverse. Now we have an Eight of Swords here, right? This Eight of Swords reverse looks a lot like the Devil card in this deck. It really does. And you're no longer keeping somebody's somebody trying to guilt you to stay. You're not allowing that to keep you from this. Queen of Wands, I felt this in the Lovers. Look at this, in the Wheel of Fortune and the Hierophant, the Wise One and the Queen of Swords. You have a lot of boss up energy coming. And I feel like it's somebody new. I honestly, I do feel like you have new love, the catalyst to get you out of something that really needed to go a long time ago. But this is real love. Now this is near future. Is this in or not? Only you can answer that who, because different people are watching where hell it came in back here. I don't, I actually, I don't know. I don't think so because you got a awakening reverse. And I would say that would have been an, a judgment upright. So somewhere here, love is really, love wins in this reading, but golly, is somebody dealing with a controlling SOB and I, it's, it's really, when you walk away from that, Leo, they should name a street after you because I just feel like you've been going, running on a cup empty for a long time. And now you're saying, I need to have this cup full, no matter how, when, or why, or with who it's time. It's just like, you, you just can't do it anymore. That's what it feels like. All right, my dears, good luck. Um, have a good rest of your week and I'll see you kids later. Take care.